Proverbs 31, beginning with verse 25, from the New International Version of the Bible. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. The word of the Lord is blessed. For a few moments, on this Mother's Day 2024. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage our mothers from the subject, you're once, twice, three times a lady, and we love you. And for a thing, on today that I want to give you is that the profound influence of motherhood cultivates hearts and strengthens our communities simply through unconditional love. The songwriter said, Thanks for the time that you've given me. The memories are in my heart and my mind. And now we've come to celebrate you on this special day. And there's something that I want to say out loud. You once, you twice, three times a lady. And I, as the pastor of HMBC, simply love you to life. Today, we gather to praise God for who he is. And we thank him for the many blessings he has bestowed upon us. And we obediently honor and celebrate the mothers and the mother figures in our lives. We acknowledge and we appreciate your strength and your wisdom and the strength and this wisdom shines through consistently in everything that you say and in everything that you do. We understand, Sister Regina, your role as a mother goes beyond your household. And we know that motherhood encompasses every aspect of your lives. As mothers, you have the ability to recover. You have the ability to bounce back and you have the ability to recover and bounce back because of your faithfulness and your nobility. Your faithfulness and your nobility, my sisters, has shaped us into the people that we are 
on today. Amen. Because you, we are able to endure the struggles of life. And we find ourselves on the path of righteousness well. for his name's sake. Right. And we find ourselves on the path of righteousness because of the teachings that you've given us from the Lord himself. Amen. We thank you for enduring the struggles in the good times and in the not so good times. Your integrity and your industrious spirit that is rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ inspires us Thank you, Jesus. to seek the righteousness of God Amen. and to walk in the holiness of God Amen. as we strive to reach our purpose. Mothers, we thank God for your compassion. Yes. We thank God for your kindness. Yes. And your compassion and your kindness is a reflection of the love of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. And we understand thank you, God. that you're diligent. But you're diligent not only in the family, mm -hmm. but you're also diligent in the community. Amen. And my brothers, we can all agree that they're diligent in the church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Through both joyful and challenging times, you have given us a strong example of faith. Mm -hmm. We've watched you as you've endured the struggles, you've, been, you've dealt with the hurt, you've dealt with the brokenness, but your faith has always been in God. Amen. What we see in you is a beacon of hope. Yeah. And it inspires us to walk in the strength and in the holiness of Almighty God Himself. You have the ability to persevere. And Deacon Woods, we can agree that this perseverance has inspired all of us. Your resilience is unmatched. And you showcase your endurance and your faithfulness in all that you say and all that you do. Mothers, you are unconditional lovers. Mm. No. Studious teachers mm. and outstanding mentors. And I want you to understand, mothers, that your legacy will endure. And your legacy of faith, hope, and love will continue to impact generations. Despite criticism. And sometimes the lack of recognition. I want you to understand on today, and you can tell them that Pastor Mosley said so, that your influence is significant. I don't care what they say about you. Your influence is significant. Yeah. They may not always pat you on your back and tell you how good you are, but your influence is significant in our lives. And if I can speak for all the brothers up in here, up in here, we appreciate you.
in Proverbs 31, we see echoes of your character and spirit yes, yes. in her noble attributes. Right. Are you with me, fellas? Oh, yeah. Like her, you are clothed with strength. Hallelujah. And dignity. Facing the challenges of each day with courage, grace. I see you, Sister Shirley, in finesse. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. To every mother, serving as a mother, under the sound of my voice, we are blessed. Hallelujah. To witness your love. Amen. We are blessed to witness the love that flows from your heart. Hallelujah. It's a love that nurtures. Hallelujah. It's a love that supports. Yes. Mm. And it's a love that intentionally uplifts those around you. Amen. Your dedication to the family. Your dedication to the faith. Your dedication to the community is evidence of your selflessness and generosity. Amen. Through your actions and examples, you, my sisters, have instilled in us the values of compassion, right. humility, and service. Mm -hmm. So on this Mother's Day, we honor you not for what you do. Mm. We honor you for who you are. Amen. 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 Mothers, listen to me closely. You are beloved daughters of the Most High. And I want you to know on today if no one has ever told you you are fearfully and wonderfully, and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your presence in our lives is a gift that we cherish beyond measure. Yes. May God continue to bless you. Hallelujah. May he continue to smile upon you. Yes. May he continue to strengthen and guide you with his everlasting love and everlasting grace. Yes. Yes. Personally, I want to say to all of you, thank you for being our mothers. Yes. Amen. Thank you for being our mother figures. Yes. Thank you for all that you are. Mm. And thank you for all that you do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Your love is a reflection of God's love for us. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Hallelujah. The songwriter says, faith of our mothers, loving faith, the fountain of trust and the wellspring of grace. Oh, may thy consecration prove, and by your example, our lives will improve. Faith of our mothers, loving faith, we will be true to you. To death. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The author of our text on today is traditionally believed to be King Solomon, the son of King David. As we know, King Solomon is known for his wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
And he is credited with writing most of Proverbs. Amen. Proverbs 31, which we understand is the last chapter of the book. And it is referred to as the virtuous woman chapter. And this chapter contains sayings about the qualities of a woman of high moral standards. Amen. Praising her virtue and her character. This, off, this chapter, my brothers and my sisters, is often considered a guide for women. On how to live a life of dignity, a life of righteousness, Amen. a life of wisdom, and a life of kindness. I want us to understand that the book of Proverbs is written as instructions and advice on how to live a wise life and a righteous life. Amen. Well, the book, Reverend Slater, doesn't specifically give us who the audience is, but we can grasp from historical data yes, yes. that it's written for a broad audience, okay. offering wisdom and guidance All right. that can be applied, Deacon Woods, to everybody. everybody. In our text, for this Mother's Day, 2024, Elder Keel Solomon lets us know that a woman of high moral standards or a virtuous woman embodies strength yes. and dignity. Yes. Yes, yes. When she speaks, she speaks with wisdom. And not only does she speak with wisdom, but she watches over her family. Yes. See, we already talked about the fact that they manage the household wisely. But not only do they manage the household wisely, they also handle the household of faith. Amen. Wisely. She walks with strength. And she works hard. And is never idle. When we look at the text, from our perspective in 2024, Solomon is emphasizing that we must acknowledge and praise our mothers for not only giving birth to us, but also for their unconditional love. Amen. But then it was, let me talk to you for a second. Not only do they have unconditional love, somebody pray for you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I had a praying mother. She prayed for me. <laughs> hallelujah. Not only did they walk with unconditional love, Sister Sherry, not only did they pray for us, but our mothers had a diligent work ethic. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And they believed in being productive women of God. Yes. Yes. Mm. Furthermore, our mothers, whether they be here with us or not, or our mother figures, were not only hard workers, when they worked for the man. <laughs> they were hard workers for the most high. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed woman. My brothers and my sisters, we understand and appreciate a mother who takes care of the home. Yes. But we also have great appreciation for mothers who are pillars
workers in the Lord's church. Amen. See, brothers, we got to ask ourselves this question. What would HNBC look like mm. without our women? Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Mm. With that said, I think we can all agree Amen. that we appreciate our women for what they bring and do in the household of God. Amen. Amen. Not only do they manage their resources good, uh -huh. they manage the resources of God in excellence. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Our mothers, my brothers and my sisters, and I want y'all to hear this. Hear this as I say it. The excellent managers. The exquisite coordinators. They're some of the best cooks we know. Amen. Hallelujah, brothers. Amen. And through their labor, they teach us and they remind us of the importance of diligence, compassion, hard work, and financial literacy carried out according to the will and the way of God. Not only are our mothers reliable, but they are also compassionate and kind to everyone they encounter. Amen. Our mothers, on this special day, no matter where they might be, are strong women of faith who have the ability to balance the responsibility of the household, yes. the family, yes. and the church all at the same time. Amen. Therefore, we praise God for our mothers. Yes. We honor our mothers for being women of high moral and ethical standards. Yes. And mothers, we simply want to say we love you. We love you. We honor you. We honor you. And we appreciate every little thing that you do. Hallelujah. So we understand Hallelujah. that you didn't have to do it. Amen. We understand that you didn't have to discipline us. We understand that you didn't have to encourage us. We understand that you didn't have to love us through it. Yes. We understand that you didn't have to pray us through it. But thanks be to God, we are so glad so that you're glad. here. So glad. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand something on today. The dinners we take you to they won't be enough. The flowers that are bestowed upon you won't be enough. The cards we purchase won't be enough. The gifts that we bring to you will not be enough. So we simply stop by here on today to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for all that you are, all that you do. Yes. And all that you give. Amen. With all that said, what are the invaluable contributions mothers bring to their family mm -hmm. and to the community? Thank you. Number one, a mother of faith mm -hmm. provides strength and wisdom to all who encounter her. Amen. Number two, emphasizing the significance of faithfulness and nobility in character. A mother who is intentionally focused on Christ navigates each day with grace and with class. Amen. 
Number three, through integrity, diligence, and unconditional devotion to her family, no matter what comes her way, a mother rooted and grounded in Christ exemplifies resilience and steadfastness. Yeah. The songwriter says, you were there for me to love and care for me. Yes. When skies were gray, whenever I was down, you were always there to comfort me. Yeah. And no one else can be what you've been to me. You will always be you will always be the girl in my life Amen. for all time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama. Mama. You know that I love you. Mama. See, some of us are separated from our mothers on today. But I want you to declare in your heart, Mama will always be the girl in our lives Amen. for all times. All time. Mothers, you've loved us through our ups and our downs. Yes. I'm here to tell you, you will always be the girl in our lives the girl. for all times. You took care of us through the good days and the bad days. Yes. Mama will always be the girl in our lives Hallelujah. for all time. Yeah. You drowned our tears. Yeah. You bandaged yeah. our wounds. Yeah. You helped us with our schoolwork. You watched us achieve yeah. the greater in God. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, mama will always be the girl yeah. in our lives Hallelujah. for all time. See, she taught us yeah. right from wrong. Yeah. She made sure yeah. that we made it to the church. Oh. She made sure yeah. that we knew about God. She cried tears yeah. of joy when we accepted Christ. Oh, Mama will always be yeah. the girl oh. in our lives oh, for all time. Yeah. You were there through the ups and through the down. Yeah. We made it through it because you prayed us through it. Oh. You loved us when we were obnoxious yeah. and you praised us when we were good. Oh. Mama will always be the girl oh. in our lives oh. for all time. Oh. See, the songwriter said, Jesus, oh. he paid it all. Oh, oh. to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. I want to encourage our mothers on today. Mama, don't get weary. Remember the full payment was paid by a man named Jesus. There will be moments of uncertainty. There will be moments of despair. But the full payment was made by a man named Jesus. There'll be times when you feel lonely. There'll be times when you feel unappreciated. Reflect on the fact that full payment was made by a man named Jesus. Sometimes, us children, we don't want to act right. Sometimes, we don't even want to talk right. Don't worry, but remind yourself, for payment was made by a man named Jesus. See, the songwriter says, no, never alone. No, never alone. Jesus promised never to leave you never to leave you alone. So on today, to Jesus, ain't gonna leave you alone. Don't give up. Your task is not yet complete. Sometimes you may get sick. Sometimes you may get tired. Your 
your task is not yet complete. See, I understand the road is rough and the going gets tough and the hill are hard to climb. But see, we started out a long time ago. If you dare, in no doubt, in no mind, I've decided to make Jesus my unconditional choice. You are pillars of our strength. Mothers, you are selfless and inspiring. Mothers, your love knows no limits. Mothers, your presence brings peace and it brings warmth. Mothers, your wisdom guides us through life's challenges. Mothers, your grace it shines brightly. Mothers, your laughter fills our hearts with unconditional joy. Mothers, your intelligence, it leaves us in awe. Mothers, you are the gift that we treasure each and every day. You're beautiful, you're amazing, you're wonderful, you are the anchor, you're supportive, you're loving, you're caring, you're nurturing, you're the rock, you're our confidant, you're hardworking, you're diligent, you're inspiring, and you're always there.